Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Guys of Magic. This is Hunter, Steven, David, and Shane. Save it up, boys. What's going on? Hey, guys. What's up, nerds? We are back this time doing another upgrade battle for the last Caverns of Ixalan. This time, the bigger, the better, better edition. It's the $300 upgrade edition. If you guys haven't already seen those videos, we did an upgrade for every single one of the decks. Check the description. Not only will you find links to all those videos, but you'll find the links to every single one of these decks. Before we get started, just want to remind everybody we do have a Patreon. So underneath, you see all those people. Those are our current patrons. If you guys want to join them, check the description for the link to our Patreon account for more information. But we are going to go around the table, talk about our deck, starting off with Steven. What are we doing? Yeah, I'm playing Admiral Brass on Singable. Just Grixis, fun stuff, graveyard shenanigans. Just trying to win as fast as possible by filling my graveyard and bringing them back out. And I'm going to be playing Carmen, Cruel Sky Marcher, uh, hopefully making you guys sacrifice some things and then uh, beating my opponents to death with a big flyer. And I'm playing Pant Laza Sun Favored. I'm just going ultra wide with some dinosaurs, hopefully just smashing people in the face. And I'm playing with some Merfolk. We're playing Hackball, the Surging Soul. Going to cast a bunch of Merfolk, going to go really wide, going to explore, hopefully over on the board and win. All right, we are shuffled up. We've got our turn order. Kick it off. Steven. All right. Uh, how do we want to? Yeah, I guess we got to draw, right? So, um, ooh. Uh, we will go ahead and play Lonely Island and pass. Cool. I'm going to kick my turn off. Uh, let's go with a Vault of Champions. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. And then I got to tap Vault of Champions. And I'm going to play a Selfless Savior. Cheater. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> I'm going to draw. I'm going to play a Spire Garden. Hey, thanks for you guys being here as well. I'm going to tap it for a green, and I'm going to play Ixali's Lorekeeper, little mana dork for dinosaurs. Pass. Sounds good. Start turn, untap, upkeep draw. I'm going to play Unclaimed Territory. I'm going to name Merfolk, and I'm going to pass. Fair All magic. right. I will draw for myself here, uh, and I'm tired of you guys thanking me for being here. I'm going to thank my island for being here. I'm going to go and play a Sulfur Faults. <laughs> It'll come in untapped because I have an island, and I uh, can't really do anything, so I will. Uh, I'll pass. All right, untap, upkeep, and draw. Let's play a swamp as my land for turn. And Hunter has a 1-1. One, one. I do. Can you leave it alone, please? <clears throat> no. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Hunter, I have a 1-1 one, one coming at you. Make his battle, day, dude. Block battle it. of the 1-1s. One, Block it. Make his day. I will take one going down to 39. We did it. Now he wipes the board. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, Hunter does have enough of a, of a board presence already. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tap for two. The vault will tap for a white, and I will cast a selfless spirit. And I will pass my turn. Lots of indestructible. I'm going board stay right there. Uh, I'll untap draw. I will play a temple garden, but I will not shock myself. And I will tap for two, a red, and it doesn't matter. And we will play a marauding raptor. He's a little 2 3. It makes uh, creature spells cost one less. That also kind of does damage to stuff when things enter. Okay, pass. Okay, pass. Start turn. I'll tap up, keep draw. I'm going to play a snarl, and I'm going to reveal to you boys a forest in my hand. Have it come in untapped. I'm going to tap for two. One of that being a blue. Thanks to me casting a merfolk. I'm going to cast Stony Brook Banneret. And uh, it's got an island walk. And it's going to let all my merfolk spells cost one less to cast. And that'll wow. be my turn. A lot of cost reduction going on over there. A lot of cost reduction. I want some. Yep. So do I. Uh, on top of me, draw. I got colors. All right. Let's go ahead and tap for three. And I would like to go ahead and play a Captain Lannery Storm. This is a creature with haste, and then whenever it attacks, I create a treasure token. And whenever I sack a treasure token, it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shane. Yes? Just because Great. I know David is... Yeah, I'm gonna... I gotta come at you, bud. Okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> David doesn't really care about things dying. What are you talking about? So... I mean, does he block On the... On the... No, he does not. On the attack, I will go ahead and make a treasure token. And, uh, that'll... That'll be it, man. Well, I will take two damage. Going to 38. Uh, second main. Don't really want to do anything, and I'll pass. Cool. Kick my turn off. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I will play a War Room as my land for the turn, and I'm going to tap for three, and I'll cast a Woe Strider. Woe Strider on ETB is going to make a goat. Uh-oh. Bah. Bah. Um, Wait, that's cheap. I'm going to go. What sound does a goat make? I don't know. Wah, wah. What there we go. A... <laughs> that's a Frexing and a War Horse. All right, I'm going to go to combat. Let's send the 1-1 one, one at Steven, and I'll send the 2-1 at Shane. Uh, no I'm going to have no blocks. Yep. Cool. I take 2. Yep. 36. I take 1, 39, 
Spreading the love, everybody. I've had everybody equally, okay? So no no favoritisms. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to pass my turn. Cool. I'm going to untap draw. We're going to tap, tap, tap for three, but cost reduction makes it four. And we're going to play a hulking raptor. Hey, look. There you go. Well, yeah. So pre-combat, I get two green. Cool. Uh, this, this is a dinosaur that comes in, so it's going to get two damage dealt to it. It's not going to die. But Marauding Raptor is now 4-3. Steven, take four. No blocks taking four going down to 35. That's going to be the end of my turn. Sweet. Start turn. I'll tap a keep draw. I'm going to play that beautiful forest that I showed you, boys. I'll tap for three. And thanks to the Stony Brook, I'll cast Hackball. I'm going to move into combat. And if everyone's cool, I'm going to explore from left to right. Stony Brook. That's a really good card. I love double explorers. We're going to leave that on top <laughs> for both of these. So I'm going to put a counter here. I'm going to put a counter here. Leave it almost feels like that shouldn't work like that. It's so good. It's so what good, Steven. Like I mean, it's just, it's so good. It's a really good card. Steven, you hit me, so I'm going to come at you. Yeah, man, I so get I'm it. I'm taking two. You're taking two. All right, I'll take two, going to 33. I've now been hit by everybody. Uh, pass my turn. All right, I'll tap up, keep draw. Exotic Orchard has land for turn. Let's go ahead and tap for my colors and sack treasure. I'll play uh, Admiral Brass and Sinkable. She's there. Uh, let's mill four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I know what you're going to get. Yeah, the so only do I. Pirate. That's a great card right now. All right, let's move to combat. Beginning of combat. Boom. This will be a 4-4. When it enters the battlefield, exile, target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. You may cast it this turn. Yikes. It's a bummer. We have no graveyard, bud. Yeah. Mm. Really, from the opponent's graveyard is what hurts the most on that. <laughs> That's a great card. That's yep. a great card. But I think I want a treasure. and Everyone's got some scary things. Yeah. I don't think you want to get rid of the Woe Strider, but you can't put a goat in front of it. So I'll swing Captain Lannery over at you, David. It's a 2-2. Two, two. On attacks, it will make a treasure. Um, I tell you what, I am going to block. I'm going to throw the goat in front of it, and then I'm going to sacrifice the goat to Woe Strider so that I can scry. Sounds good. Smart. It's a smart turn. Boop. Cool. Uh, yeah, second main. Got nothing. I will go ahead and pass to you, David. Cool. Going to kick my turn off. Oh, my goodness. Look what I drew. Exactly the card that I thought it was. Whoa. I'm going to play a Caves of Koilos as my land for the turn. I'm going to tap one, two, or a Dusk Legion Zealot. Whenever he ETBs, I'll lose a life and draw a card. Going down 239. David's got quite the board over there. I know. We need to start worrying about him now. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass my turn. I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw. I have two green floating. We're going to tap for the two. So five mana for a Bone Horde Dracosaur. Oh. oh, that's problematic. It is problematic. Bonehorde Dracosaur is going to get two damage dealt to it by the Marauding Raptor. Does nothing. Doesn't die. And Marauding Raptor is now a 4-3 once again. We're going to swing the 4-3 over at Dave. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to declare Dusk Legion Zealot as a blocker, and then I will sacrifice it to Woe Strider so I can scry. Only your commander is out right now, Dave. And I'm going to scry that to the bottom. That's going to be the end of my turn. Pass to you, Shane. Sounds good. Start turn. On tap up, keep draw. I will play a land for turn. Karn's Bastion. I'm going to tap for two, thanks to Stony Brook Banneret, and play the thing that I showed you guys when I was exploring. So now if a creature you control would explore, it instead explores and then explores again. That's We're going to have good. so many, so many explorers, dude. I'm going to go crazy, boys. There, there might be a board rep coming soon. hunter has got a lot of dinosaurs. I'm going to tap for two blue, and we're going to play a Lord of Atlantis. All more folk have Island Walk and get plus one, plus one. Let's go to combat, guys, and at the beginning of combat, have everything explored twice. We're going to explore from left to right, boys. You ready? All right, Stony Brook. That's really good. Yeah, so that's a good card. So I'm going to leave that on top and explore twice for everything. This guy gets two. This guy gets two. This guy gets two. And this guy gets two. Put it back to my library. Now let's declare nice. some attackers. Honor, I'm just going to attack you with my commander, dude. And it is actually seven. It's I a love six, this so It's much. a six, six, and it's getting plus one, plus one from my lord. Uh, I will not block. So I will take seven going down to 32. Two, which is seven commander. And I have a hackball trigger, buddy. So I can either put a land on the field or draw a card. I'm not going to put a land, so I'm just going to draw a card. And I will pass my turn. All right. Uh, untap up, keep draw. Uh, but Dude, I'm going to go I, ahead and play this luxury please. suite. And thank you guys for being here. Hey, boys. Can you, get, can you let me do one thing? Can you I let me create this map token? What? This huh? thing says when it enters the battlefield, it's supposed to make a map token with this card. So make a map token. Yeah, just, just make a map yeah. token. Put it to the side. I mean, if we're going to do it, let's... Let's make some room for some board stuff, right? Yeah, dude. Stuff in my graveyard. We'll do Storm Fleet Navigator for a beautiful little three. 
Uh, whenever it attacks, which I can't right now, unfortunately, each player reveals the top card in their library. For each non-land card revealed this way, I create a map token. Then each player draws a card. I'm going to help everybody draw. You're making maps just like Shane did. Yeah, when I, I missed it, but then I did it. David, no. take two. <gasps> Gasp. Uh, Captain Lannery Storm, I will go ahead and make a uh, treasure. Do I block? Yeah, block with something so it dies and you're forced to board wipe. Yeah, I'll take two. You get to go to 37. Uh, Captain Lannery made me a token on attack, and unfortunately, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Cool. Let's kick my turn off. Draw a card. Let's play a board wipe. Fire. A bright climb pathway. And uh, I'm going to tap for five here. Got him in. And get Carmen in play. Yeah, he's not board wiping, boys. Yeah, Carmen. Uh, that's my turn. I pass. Interesting. Okay. Well, at instant speed, he can sack stuff. To can I just more. say how crazy it is that none of us have a shit ton of artifacts out? Yeah, I know. There's there's three in play in total, and they're all tokens. I'm going to untap on my upkeep. I'm going to exile the top two cards of my library, and I can play them this turn. And I oh, make stuff. Oh, got one. I got, I got things for both, guys. So because I exiled a land, I get to make a 3-1, which, fun fact, this is really unfortunate because Marauding Raptor is just going to kill the 3-1. <laughs> oh. And because I did a non-land, I also get a treasure. Treasure. And then I will go and draw for turn. All right. Let's play land for turn. Look. Uh, Fortified Village, I will play for my land for turn. Comes in tapped because I can't reveal anything, which is unfortunate. Bummer. Uh, but I do have two green floating because of Hulking Raptor. That's cool. With one of those greens, I will cast a soul ring. Oh, he's live. He's here got we his go. board. We're here, boys. Uh, that green and two, I will cast the Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Good old 6-6. Six, six. That's a three mana 6-6, six, six, Hunter. Hulking Raptor will see that. Ping it. It gets another plus two, plus two. Uh, it's only one in a green because of, of my cost reduction over here from good old Marauding Raptor. So I've got one colorless floating still. With that one colorless floating, I will tap for an additional two, three, four. And because it's cheaper, I'll play Pantlaza. So much synergy. Look at so that. Much so, so much, so much board. So much board. I'm here for the wipe. Uh, Marauding Raptor will see that and it will ping it for plus two, plus zero. And I'm going to discover for four for Pantlaza. I hit a <laughs> majestic hell of blah 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to put this in my hand because if it goes on the field, it just dies. So I'm not going to do that. Smart. The synergy is real. The synergy is real. This and I'm going to take dude. this giant thing now that's uh, it's got additional six. It's an 8-3 at the moment. Holy shit. And we're going to take this 8-3 and we're going to say, what's up to Shane? Pow. I, I kind of wish I didn't swing my commander at you now, dude. God damn it. An 8-3? An 8-3. You want to kill it? I like all my shit. <laughs> I like all my shit, dude. And I think David doesn't want to board wipe now he has a card, so I gotta. Uh, I will not block, and I will take eight. I don't think David's board wiping with his commander. I'm at commander 28. Out. 28. All right. Well, that was quite the turn. It was, dinosaur boy. And I think I'm just going to pass. I like the sound of that. I'll start then. Untap, upkeep, and draw. That was mean, dude. What are you going to do about it? You're going to show him what's up? Yeah, never hey, forget. Don't be about it. Show about Do about it. Uh, I might show him what's up, honestly, dude. Honey, you want to see what's up, dude? What's up, dog? All right, dog. Got any flyers? Uh, yeah. You do, huh? Yeah, 5-5 five, five with first strike. 5-5 five, five with first strike. All right, cool. Let's see what let's see what happens. I'm going to play my land for turn. Tap for four. Thanks to the banneret. It's going to cost one less. So I'm going to play my Mist Dancer. <laughs> Merfolk, 3-3. Three, three. Merfolk you control get plus one, plus zero, and have flying. So that's cool, right? Well, that's pretty David's good. David's got that board wipe. David, you're not going <laughs> to board wipe now, right? You don't, you don't care. You're going to let yeah. us beat each other up, right, David? I'm going to let you guys do whatever you want to to each other. I don't think right. David had the board wipe. That's Be dead honest Steven. with you. Steven, <laughs> don't spread false information. I'm going to move into combat, and I'm going to explore from left to right twice. Oh, that's such a good card. We're going to keep wave goodbye on top, and then we're going to put uh, plus two, plus two on all my creatures. And we'll put wave Shane, goodbye your board back is on gigantic. Top. I'm going to declare these two at David and these two at Hunter. <laughs> that is so dumb. Um, Shane, how much is coming at me? 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, um, I will declare no blocks. I will take 20. Is that with all the Lord effects? That's with the Lord effects, yeah. That is wild to me, Dave. You've got me at uh, 17. I'll take 16. I'm going down to 16. 10 of that was Commander Dave. Thank you. The fact wow. that he just took that much. I'm very curious on this next turn. I almost want to just draw and pass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am 
terrified. He's gonna Hackball had a sack something. Hackball had an attack trigger too, by the way, boys. I'm not gonna play a land. I'm gonna draw. Um, that's all I could do. So I guess go ahead, Steven. See what happens. Uh, on top of you, draw. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and play this Ophelia Drown Yard as land for turn. Uh, and blue, black, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it to mill three cards. One, two, three. That's unfortunate. That was a faithful looting, though, right? That can be flashbacked. That was a faithful looting. Steven, I like the record to let the record show that I could have killed you. <laughs> like two turns ago. <laughs> I did this last turn, too. He did 16 and 20. Yeah. I mean, I could have not let you have as much fun with your stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. I just kind of okay. like seeing you pop off a little bit. All right. Uh, let's go Luxury Suite for a red. This one, and we'll crack a treasure to flashback. Um, I, will, I will get a trigger from the treasure, so yep. Carmen would get a counter, and then I would gain a life. Yep. Look at that. He's getting life uh, I'm going to draw two and then discard two. I'm going to go ahead and discard. Uh, we'll discard this land in a pirated copy. Ooh, I know it's coming back. This is exiled. Let's just go ahead and move to combat. Boom. My pirated copy is going to come in as a copy of Selfless Spirit. In response, I will sacrifice Selfless Spirit to the Woe Strider. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I should have thought I would come to Shapeshifter comes in as dead. Oh, it's it comes four, in as a 4-4. Four, four. Oh. Um, Carmen is going to get a plus one, plus one counter, and I will gain a life. Damn, Dave's playing with fucking... How big I, is Carmen I now? don't. I don't have what you guys think I have. Uh, she's a 4-4 four, four with flying. I don't think you have anything. That's why I'm laughing. That's that's what it is. I don't have actually anything here. Yeah, I'll swing the pirate copy over okay. at David, and I will swing little old Captain Lannery Storm over at Hunter. Just a 2-2 two, two that makes me a treasure. Uh, I'll block with my 5-5 five, five first strike. Cool. It did. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to put the selfless savior in front of your creature, and then I will sacrifice it to Woe Strider. Cool. So that I can scry. And then uh, Carmen will get a counter, and I will gain a life. All right. And that is pretty much all I can do. So I'll go ahead and pass there. All right. Let's kick my turn off. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I will play a planes as land for turn. Guys, this is not good. I am going to go to combat, and I will say that Carmen will attack at Steven. And then response for her trigger going to combat. She's going to return a creature card or a permanent card from my graveyard back to the battlefield. And I will choose selfless spirit. Smart. Is it a 5-5 five, five now? Uh, she's a 5-5 five, five with flying, yes. I mean, Shane can kill me at any moment. Sure can. So we'll just say I'll take 5. Cool. Going down to 28 and 5 commander. All right, let's make a play. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice selfless spirit so that my things gain indestructible. Oh. Damn it. And then Damn for 6 it. mana, I will destroy all creatures. Uh. Shane, are you going to swing at me? <laughs> no. I mean, my he doesn't have to die, board. so no. Well, I'm saying in response, Shane, are you going to swing at me Ooh, if I counter he's this? Counter. Hell no. I'll destroy both of them on my turn. <laughs> oh, see, the smart play would technically be to let see, this happen. That David, David, I'm going to crack a treasure and swan song that. Okay. Oh. Um, I will gain a life. And I honestly, I think I scoop. You can't Shut scoop. Up. No, like I'm I'm, I'm legitimately dead. I'm not in this game anymore. You Why can't scoop. gain a life, by the way. Because he my cracked commander. a token. He cracked the to uh, treasure. But you get a 2 2. Steven, I don't know if that was the right play, but it was a fucking play. That was yeah. awesome, Steven. Way to go. I'm glad everyone's happy with that. I'm kind of like, I'm eh. not. I, I say everyone but David. Um, all right, I will pass my turn. All right, we're going to go ahead and untap, and on my upkeep, we are going to exile top two cards. We land, and a non land. So I make a Look token, that. and I also make a 3 1 that enters and just immediately just gets destroyed because of Marauding Raptor. So thanks, Marauding Raptor. It gets plus two, plus zero. Uh, and then I will go ahead and draw for turn, and I will play a land for turn, Fabled Passage. Hey, Dave, I'm going to crack Fabled Passage. You get a life. Um, Carmen will get a plus one, plus one, and give me a life. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this is going to enter tapped, but then it will say, oh, I have four lands. comes in untapped. Pre-combat main phase, I get two green. Tap for a red I and play like Blast them. Exact. Go around the table. Any responses? <laughs> well, I, had noth I got nothing. Uh, I have nothing. I will sacrifice my bird token to the Woast Rider to scry. In response to you sacrificing, David, I'll use the two green that are floating to heroic intervention. And in response to the heroic intervention, I'm going to go ahead and cast Fierce Guardianship for its additional cost. Whoa! <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Steven, you little bitch. Wait, what are you heroic the whole are you, time. Are you countering which part? I'm countering the heroic intervention. Why not the other thing? Because I don't want everything to be on the board, you silly goose. 
Well, that is super, super annoying. Yeah, I got, I got nothing to respond to that. I got nothing to respond to that. All right, um, well, fierce wait, counters. Heroic. I have priority first. He's going to okay. sack some shit. I am. I'm going to sacrifice my commander to Woestrider to scry. Um, ooh, we're going to keep that on top. All right, that's what I got. And then my shit's going to die. Dang. All right. That's I can't exiled. believe you had that. That's exiled. That's in the graveyard. I'm going to keep uh, the graveyard. I'm going to keep my commander in the graveyard. Actually, my, my one response is I'm going to float a green from Ixali. Cool. Now I feel like our decks have done something. I do have still that one green floating, so I'll use the one green and another green. Yeah, we'll tap for this. So those three, we'll play a Topiary Stopper. Find a basic. We'll go ahead and get a planes. Untapped. Topiary Stopper sees that I don't have seven or more lands. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap for one and two more, and we're going to cultivate. Get the more land. Ramp door. Yeah. A lot of rampy. Door. We'll get some more basics, boys. We will get another mountain, and we will get forest. The mountain will be the one that comes on the battlefield. The forest goes in my hand. I'm going to pass. Heard. Untap. Start turn. Untap up your draw. Dang, Steven. What? That's yeah, so that was an unfortunate turn, dude. I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to play Cavernous Souls for my turn, and I'm going to name Merfolk. Shocker. I, know, hey, I was going to say, I know you might not know this, but I'm playing Merfolk. Yeah. Didn't know it. Let's do four, and I'm going to play Deep Root Historian. It's a three through Merfolk, and it says Merfolk's my graveyard have retrace. So that's cool. That's I frustrating. More, I got to get some <laughs> more lands, though, Dave. So if I had my commander, if this engine was humming, oh, well, let me tell you, you guys would, would be in trouble. But Dude, it was humming. That was the it was, Well, I guess that was like, you're right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tap for another green. And I'm going to play an Exploration. Wow. Uh, I know, but Ooh. guess what? I'm out of land at the moment, boys. So I'm going to tap for one, tap this map, and uh, sacrifice it. I'm going to have the Deep Root Historian explore Hardening Scales. That's a good card, right, guys? I mean, is it do really helpful the... right now? It's awesome. yeah, I do need land is the quite, is the problem, dude. I, I'm going to I'm gonna bin it. You're right. I'm going to bin it. Yeah, we love this choice. Go ahead, Steven. I pass. All right. On top of you, draw. Oh. Very, very interesting that your commander's in your graveyard there, Steve. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pay a black and cast reanimate. <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. That makes sense. <laughs> Shane, where are well, your counter spells? There's that. My, I don't have counter spells. Uh, ETB. One, two, three. Well, I might have like two counter four. spells. Four. Don't forget to lose life as well. Yes, five. Sorry. Uh, David, thank you for reminding me. Reanimate will deal five damage to me. Uh, so I will be at 23. Didn't want to forget, you know, you hurt yourself. I mean, I'm I'm here for it. Uh, if I can ask a question, um, nope. Dance, dance is always cards dance. in hand, everyone. Uh, four. I have five, three. Cool. One, uh, two, and we'll go ahead and just. I wouldn't do it. Get sack play, the treasure, guys. Yeah, I'll just sack it now. Three. Gonna do Jessica's will. So we said five, right, Hunter? Five, sir. Right, one. Oh yeah. Two and three. Ooh, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and use this for a red, because Hunter can produce a red, and this for one blue. I'm going to go ahead and cast Oxide. I have one. I have three. Nothing. So that's four. That is four. All right, so I'm going to use all five banner from Jessica's will to cast Port Razor. Whoa. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this for a red, and sacrifice one treasure for a black. And Shane, I'm actually going to exile your graveyard. God damn it. Okay. That's a lot of good stuff in there I really wanted, dude. I know. I'm going to go ahead and now move to combat and look at my options. Uh, so upon moving to combat, Admiral Brass is actually gonna go ahead and grab Siren Storm Tamer. Cool. Because I think I might need that. You might. Unfortunately, Port Razor does not have haste, but I will swing four in the air over at Shane. I will declare no blocks. Down to 24. And I will go ahead and pass. Kick my turn off, draw the card that I scribed there. Hey, guy. Hey, guys. Uh, let's do a black. One and two, so three in total, and I'm gonna cast Yeheni, Undying Partisan. Mm. Oh, I forgot this thing has haste. Um, and then let's do one, two, three, and I will cast a Demon's Disciple. Whatever ETPs, each player sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker. <laughs> yup, that's cool. Uh, I got rid of my Topiary Stomper that was online. I'm getting rid of my Demon's Disciple. I'm gonna get rid of Dockside. And then uh, Yehenny will trigger three times, so it says whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on Yehenny. And yehenny has got haste. Yeah, well, we will do it. Um, Steven, I'm going to come at you with Yehenny. I got a 5-5 five, five coming at you. Cool. I will double block. Right. Whoa. Um, I will assign all five points of damage to your commander. 
My commander will now go to the command zone. I've only cast it once, so commander tax only has two. I, uh, Kenny, Kenny will die. You, um, I will pass my turn. Block? Uh, I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw. We're going to play a forest for turn. We're going to tap for a red and a green, and we'll play a rhythm of the wild. Creature spells you control can't be countered. And on token creatures, another battlefield with either a 1 1 counter or haste. I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We will tap for a red and two, and we will cast a Hunting Velociraptor. That's an expensive card. And I will say it has haste. I'll go straight to combat, and I will swing this 3 2 at Shane. <laughs> uh, no box. Take three. 21. Yeah, my dinosaur spells cost two and a red now. So that's what I'll do. I'll just uh, cast my commander for that. Alternate cost, baby. Pantlaza comes in. I will go ahead and give Pantlaza a counter. Comes in with a counter. Pantlaza will trigger, and I will discover five. Uh, ah, Ripjaw Raptor. That's four. We're going to cast that. Uh, Ripjaw Raptor will enter with a counter. And we're going to pass. Awesome. Start turn. Untap. Let's tap the three. Blue, blue, and one. And we'll play this Emperor Man. Emperor Mahil. Mahil? Emperor Man. Mahil. Mahil. It's an Emperor. We're going to play an Emperor Man. Love I can look at the top card of my library anytime. I may cast more folk spells on top of my library. And when I cast more folk spell, if I pay one extra one, I can create a 1 1 merfolk creature token. So let's look at the top card of my library real quick, boys. Mm. Is it cool? It's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I'll tap for two. And I'm going to play an Explore. I can play an additional land. Cool. Shocker, guys. I'm not drawing them. I'm literally just doing it for the jar, the card draw. That's cool. Maybe you'll draw a land. I didn't. You, you saw me look at the top card of my I library. I don't think he's going to draw the yeah. card. I'm going to look at I the top know. card of my library again, though, with the Emperor, dude. It's a cool card again. All these cards are so cool. They're just going to be set on top of my library. Yeah, can't cast a Merfolk spell. Lands. Can't pay extra. Can't play another land. I feel like but what I can do is pass lands. to Steven. On top of people, draw. Uh, secluded. I almost said scheduled. Scheduled. Secluded courtyard. That'll come in. Uh, I'll name parts. Cool. We'll go one, six, seven. I'll cast Admiral Brass Unsinkable. Mm, she's back. ETB mill four. One, two, three. My pockets must really be good luck, <laughs> dude. This is nuts. Like honestly, it's nuts, dude. I mean, I have twenty-one cards in my graveyard, and like two of them are fucking pirates. Sucks to suck, dude. I got nothing in my graveyard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Move to combat. On combat, I'll bring back the Kite Sail Larcenist. Uh, t David can't hit you for anything. Yeah, I dodged it. David, I will declare nothing at you. Hunter, I'm going to go ahead and declare your commander. Shane, I will declare your creature. So, they're treasures. Cool. They become treasures, and you can fact them if you want for a man of any color. And then, as long as Kite Sail Larcenist is on the field, now if it goes away, obviously your shit comes back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move to combat. Port Razor is going to be declared over at David, and then oh. Siren Storm Tamer and Kite Sail Larcenist will be going at Hunter. Uh, I have flying. no blocks. Flying, aren't they? They are flying. I don't have any blocks. What am I taking? Eight. And I will take four going to 20. I am down to eight. I have a feeling like we're kind of dead here, guys. Uh, Port Razor will say I do get an additional combat phase, so I will untap, and I guess that means Admiral Brass is going to trigger again. That's nuts. I don't, hmm. I don't think we're, I don't think I we're mean, living. Oh, I thought you meant I don't think well, this Well, Hunter's works. definitely dead. No, yeah, Hunter's definitely dead. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and kill you all. Um, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and now move to my second combat. I'm going to go ahead and trigger Admiral Brass. I'm going to okay. go ahead and grab Dockside. I have two. Uh, you know what, Steven? In response to your Dockside, I'm sacking all of my treasures, including my commander treasure. You don't get to have oh. Okay, in response to you sacking your treasures, Hunter, I will sack one of my treasures, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Entomb, and I'm going to put Time Stream Navigator into my graveyard. That doesn't sound like a good card. Is that going to be one where you like take an extra turn? Yes. It is. Crazy. Uh, huh. Now, with that being said, Shane, you said you have two? I have two. All right, Hunter, you have two. I got two. All right, so I'll make four. And four. Uh, Port Razor came at who last turn, David? It did, yeah. Yes, it did. All right. Port Razor will now go at Shane. And then Kite Sail Larcenist is going to go ahead and attack Hunter again. And so will the Storm Tamer. That'll be another eight. And then I will also have Dockside swing at Shane for four. Nothing for David over there. Okay, so I will I'll take, take eight. Eight going to zero. I'm dead. I will take eight. I'm now going to go going ahead to and move to my third combat. Go ahead. At the beginning of that combat, I will bring Time Stream Navigator back from the graveyard. Not looking good for us, Dave. 
Oh, it's it's not looking good at all. Port Razor cannot attack either of you because unfortunately it already has attacked. So I will go ahead and just swing four, eight, 12. Uh, it'll just be 12, Shane. 12? Well, okay, Steven. Shane. You lose this turn. 12 is not 13, so I'm at one. Cool. <laughs> Uh, second main, I will sack four treasures. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use those four treasures for four blue. I'm going to tap time stream navigator. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of my library. And he's that would be so good turn. if we went to the graveyard. I'm going to take an extra turn. <laughs> go ahead and move so, an extra turn. Swing it. Swing it all up, David, because he's going to die right on me. I'm going to live. He can divvy it up and kill both of us. No, here. no, no. I'm going to live. I'm at one. It's cool, dude. It's cool, baby. You uh, can't divvy it up and kill both of us here. Does he have enough? I do, because I can. Well, an extra turn now. Brass is on line for attacking. Yes, plus I get to bring two four fours out of my graveyard. Uh, just to make sure we do our damage properly, we'll do blue, black, red, and then one. We'll do the other Admiral, Beckett Brass. <laughs> other pirates you control get plus one, plus one. Beginning to combat, I'll go ahead and get Captain Lannery Storm. Yep. And I will go ahead and swing one, two, three, four, five, and six over at David. So this David, is four, eight. Dead. Yeah, you are very dead. This is a lot of damage. <laughs> five, 10, 15, 20. 25, uh, 29. You didn't, you didn't, why didn't you just divvy it? <laughs> why take it? He doesn't need to, he gets an extra combat. Yeah, I 29 know, but why not is more than 20, Dave. Because I want to, because I don't have to. Because yeah. now he gets to do it again. All right, untap. Let's see if I got something in my hand, dude. I might have some. All right, untap. I'm going to move to my second combat. Chain, you yep, got anything? Yep, No. Okay. I did, I was supposed to make a treasure because of Captain Lannery. Just swing at me. Next combat, I'll bring Stormfleet, and then I will swing everything at you except Admiral Brass. Blah, 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 blah. I'm dead. We're all dead. That was like a 40 minute turn, Steven. Thank you. Well, it was 12 combat phases. I timed Good job. It. Good job, guys. Good job. Technically, it was two turns. Hey, I had fun, guys. I had fun. That is going to do it. Congratulations to Steven. Your pirates did work. Let's go around the table and talk about how our decks did. Steven, how about those Yar pirates? Yar. Uh, I mean, Admiral Brass is unsinkable. Uh, Port Razor just goes nuts, man, especially when there's no creatures on the board. Uh, just being able to have those multiple attack steps when nothing's on the field is pretty aggressive. And being able to have all those combat steps with Admiral Brass and things in your graveyard, even if they're not that good, they turn in the 4-4s. Four uh, it gets overwhelming very, very quickly. And I mean, it, it did well. I mean, Shane got really scary, so thankfully a couple board wipes came out. But, you know, I, I think we did what we had to do. Dave, how are we feeling about Carmen? Um, so just as a little bit of a heads up, we did play this, or we did play with the 300s multiple times. Um, I've had a lot of fun with her. This go around, I felt like she just ran really slow and wasn't actually really part of a game for the most part. Um, there was like a turn or two where I felt like I was almost there, but I just kind of felt like a turn or two behind for the most part for this one. But still quite a bit of fun. Uh, enjoyed it. Just kind of, I don't know, a little bit off. Yeah, David did allude to playing multiple games of this 300 upgrade. Of course, there was technical difficulties with those ones. Uh, so each deck popped off quite a bit. So we all stand by these decks. Uh, but my deck, Pantlaza, popped off. And I thought I had the win. And let me tell you, that Fierce Guardianship, Steven, <laughs> ruined my dreams. And basically was the meteor that extinct the dinosaurs. Uh, but yeah. I like this. I like dinosaurs. It's fun. I feel like my deck popped off too, man. I, like you said, I think all of ours did uh, in their, in different ways, of course. I made a ton of merfolk. They got aggressively big. Uh, like, I was not expecting them to get that big. There was a turn where I could swing for 20 and 18. Like, that's, that was aggressive. Or 20 and 6, whatever it was. It was a ton. Uh, but we kind of fell to the whole, once one board wipe happens, I kind of couldn't really rebuild. Plus, Steven got rid of my library or my graveyard. So I was going to have a way to play them again from the graveyard, but... There was just nothing working for me that uh, second half of the game. So unfortunate, but the deck did very well, I think. Yeah, and I'd like to uh, take the time to thank Shane for not swinging at me with such a large board with all he had Island Walk. I, I do regret that. I, re I regret that I could have killed you in one turn. But, you know, here could we have at least knocked him down a bit. To like eight or five or something stupid. I mean, yeah, whatever. in all fairness, he did choose to not attack him at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah that was island Walk. <laughs> Island walk. Like yeah. One guy with islands. Nah. I will. I will like, acknowledge the fact that I had island walk and didn't swing at him once, really. Listen, you just have a soft, gentle heart, and that's all that I really, matters. I really, I really don't. Really I don't. About that. Yeah. You did not swing. So sweet, sweet boy. 
But that is going to do it. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Once again, in the description, you will find links to all of these deck lists. And if you wanted to see why we built them the way we did, those links to those videos are in there as well. And as you see on the bottom of the screen, those are our Patreon subscribers. So thank you all very much for those. If you wanted to join those names on the screen, also check the description for our Patreon link. And not only will you see the Patreon link, you will also see links to our social media accounts. That's Instagram, Twitter, and and TikTok at Guys of Magic for each one. Follow us on there as well. And until the next video, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Later. Bye. Bye bye.